In the last episode of Madden 16 Career Mode, Escobar Sanchez caught his first NFL pass. Not only did he do that, he, along with the St. Louis Rams, beat the reigning NFC champions in the Seattle Seahawks by the score of I Forgot. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy NSG Commentary back with another episode of Madden 16 Career Mode. And we are going against the Washington Redskins in week two. And to kick it off, first play of the game, first 19, Nick Foles is starting to increase his confidence in Escobar Sanchez. Catching the pass for nine yards, making it second and 10. Will he go back to me again? No, he will not. Goes to Jerry Cook, but that's okay because Jerry Cook does get the first down. And on the third and four, increasing his confidence in Escobar Sanchez with a poorly thrown ball. As we do not convert the third down, so we do have to punt the ball. But it's okay because the Washington's offense did not do anything with their possession. So we get the ball back. And on the first and ten, that is a strike thrown to Jerry Cook. We've been passing the ball lately, efficiently. I don't know about our running game. Our running game has been struggling. But you see that our passing game has been clicking as on first and 10. Escobar Sanchez gets another first down pass from Nick Foles and on another first and 10. Nick Foles is going deep to Escobar Sanchez. He drops the ball, but on this second and 10 play, Escobar Sanchez makes sure to haul in the pass as he found the space in the zone. Great route ran by Escobar. And a nice, precise pass by Nick Foles. And look at Escobar getting hyped. Hyping up the crowd. Let's go. All six foot six of him. Moving right along to our next offensive possession. Not only do we have to establish a passing game, which we have earlier this game, we have to establish the run game. But on the third and 11, Nick Foles decides to go deep to Escobar, but Chris Culliver is there to make the crazy, crazy interception. And watch that little shimmy dance. I can't be mad at that. That was pretty, that was like some Dancing with the Stars type stuff. Shoot, if Jerry Rice and Emma Smith can do it, why not Chris Culliver do it? ABC needs to call up Chris Culliver's agent. Oh my gosh, look at that swatted away pass by Chris Culliver. His confidence is increasing right now. Third and six, Nick Foles throws a dot to Jerry Cook. And even though it's only the first half, Jerry Cook is having, having himself a hell of a game. Five receptions, 83 yards. First and 10. Oh my gosh, Nick Foles, how dare you throw that interception? Brashad Breeland jumps the route and picks Nick Foles off. And the Washington Redskins are up by three this game. Now first and 10. First and 10, Nick Foles throws a dot to Kenny Brick. Kenny Brick is taken down all the way at the seven yard line. So in one play, we already reach inside the 10. And on a first and goal, why not throw it up to Escobar Sanchez? Come on, man. Six plus six. His wingspan is literally 5'10". Look at, oh my gosh, look how he laid out for that catch. You guys want to talk about Odell Beckham's catch. This is amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Here, here, come, here comes the referee. Want to screw up everything. Come on, he clearly had his knee in bounds before he was pushed out of bounds. And look at that Johnson kid. Oh my gosh. Oh man, his career is over after this. Oh, oh, here comes the referee. Everybody be, shh, shh, be quiet guys. We gotta be quiet. Here he comes, here he comes. Shh, shh, shh. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. We all knew it was a touchdown. You're throwing it to Escobar Sanchez, clearly the greatest wide receiver in the NFL right now. So not only did that touchdown stand, we took the lead. And in the second half, Nick Foles and Escobar Sanchez are doing what they've been doing. Not only all in the offseason, not only all in the preseason. This is amazing right here. 
This is amazing right here. Check out this catch. This catch was literally in the hands of Chris Culliver, but Escobar Sanchez yanked it out of his grasp. And watch as they go down. Escobar Sanchez rips the ball out of Chris Culliver's hands. This is amazing. I am amazed at what I'm watching here. The Rams will take the snap from the 35. First and 10, Nick Foles drops back, finds a wide open Kenny Brick. Well, actually, let me take that back. Stedman Bailey, I haven't heard his name in a while. I really have not heard Stedman Bailey's name in a while. And on the second and 10, Todd Gurley walks into the end zone with his first career rushing touchdown of his career. So we are striking in all cylinders this game, and the lay hurdle by Todd Gurley gives us the insure win, the insure W for this game. But we're not done with the highlights to this game. Second and ten, Nick Foles drops back, finds Escobar Sanchez on the slot, on the slant. Excuse me for my poor commentary skills. First and ten, a possession catch by Escobar. Why not? And since they've been having great chemistry all day, why not another touchdown pass, a trio of touchdown pass for the connection duo of Nick Foles to Escobar Sanchez. The Washington Redskins weren't happy about it. But if you have a team down, why not keep them down? So with that, we win the game 37 to 10. It was an easier game than last week game. RJ3 really, really didn't have a bad game. He had a pretty decent game, but uh, when when I look back at how many receivers dropped this passes, almost all of like almost every every receiver on that team had dropped passes. So, but he had a pretty decent game. But moving right along to the 0 and 2 Steelers, losing to the Patriots and also losing their second game. Second play of our game. Oh, second offensive play of the game. We go deep to Kenny Brick. And on first and 10, why not continue what they had last week? Nick Foles to Escobar Sanchez. As Escobar Sanchez got up there. Oh, my gosh. He got up there as if he was going for the offensive rebound in the basketball game. You guys want to hear a joke? <laughs> William Gay is so gay that his face was on Escobar Sanchez's ass. Check out the height. There's no way that any cornerback can contest with that. And William Gay was literally hugging Escobar Sanchez's ass. So after the Steelers offense weren't able to do anything, we got the ball back at the one yard line and a poor, poor play by Nick Foles to throw it into the backfield, into the flats. I understand what he was doing, but this was just a bad throw. As Trey Mason had to come back for the ball, and the cornerback read that all away, and they stopped us for the safety. Now, their offense didn't do anything again, so we got the ball back, and we're trying to go down the field and score. A nice pass to Kenny Brick, as he has over 50 yards already in the game. Nick Foles dropping back, throws a lob pass to Jerry Cook into double coverage, but Jerry Cook does come down with the pass. On a first and goal, Nick Foles decides to just run it in himself. So that makes another touchdown for the St. Louis Rams as we have a 12-point lead in the game. So not only can Nick Foles pass the ball, he can also run the ball, which he has been doing a lot recently. So into the second half now. The Steelers did score before the half is over, and we are facing a third and nine, and Nick Foles decides to go Escobar Sanchez's way, which is the smartest, safest route as he goes and catches the ball at its highest points over William Gay. And William Gay is looking bad this game against Escobar. You want to know what happens when you put a mediocre cornerback on a future Hall of Famer? You get games like this. First and ten, Trey Mason finds a gaping hole and does a late dive into the end zone, hyping up the crowd as the score is now. Well, it's going to be 21 to nine. So two back-to-back -back easy games. 
The late dive by Trey Mason secured the W for this week, but we aren't done with the highlights. No, we aren't. After a field goal by the Pittsburgh Steelers, we, as in the St. Louis Rams, decide to go deep in the fourth quarter. We do not. We do not play conservative. We play aggressively. We don't try to chew out the clock by running it. We just throw fade routes to Escobar Sanchez for touchdowns. Making this his second touchdown of the game. So that makes two weeks, five touchdowns. And Escobar Sanchez is starting to look like a wide receiver who's about to break out this season. Oh man, I'm, I'm sorry Mike Tomlin. I'm sorry Mike Tomlin. I know you had to deal with the uh, the Patriots headsets and stuff like that. And the ass whooping that you took from the New England Patriots. And then the ass whooping that you had to take now from Escobar Sanchez and the St. Louis Rams. I, I just have to say I'm sorry Mike Tomlin. But you had it coming. You had it coming. Okay? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're going for the undefeated season. We are now 3-0. And a few weeks later... A few weeks down the road, we will be 16-0, getting the perfect season. Just watch it. I know it. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. 